Well, this is Pippa's song. She's named after a poem by Robert Browning. It's a really lovely poem, actually. It's worth Googling. Um, but she's a lovely, lovely boat. She was built in 2014 by Stillwater Narrowboat. She's been immaculately looked after and has been loved since the day she was born. In the boat. It shows, really. She was blacked in March 2020, just this year. Eight anodes in total, four were new this year. The paintwork is in really good condition. Lovely cruiser stern deck there, seven feet six inches long. Nice combination. I like this combination of portholes towards the rear and bus style windows in the front of the boat. Bit of a damp day today, there's still condensation on the windows, <clears throat> but nonetheless doesn't detract. Make an amazing Christmas present to someone of this boat. Bit of a bugger to wrap, but there we go, not my problem. Gas bottles are in the forward locker there, 213 kilos. The cratch cover on this boat's in superb condition and it's got glazed panels in as well on the sides of it, so you can have it blacked out or light. Glazed cratch board there, they're the panels I'm referring to. Lovely wooden front doors, glazed panels. And then we go, she's fitted out in light oak face ply and oak trim. Absolutely beautiful feel to this boat. The saloon itself is 18 feet long, it's enormous. A couple of super comfy armchairs. There's a footstool as well. Wooden laminate floor, cupboard there in the corner. And there's a view onto the well deck from the saloon. The stove itself is a more, more so squirrel, multi-fuel stove. Head height on the boat is six feet six in the middle. All the lighting is LED. And she feels so clean and tidy. She feels spacious and light as well, I have to say. Lovely dinette here, storage under these benches. This doubles up into a second double berth. So you have guests on board. And into the, sal uh, the galley, rather, six feet three inches long. There's a side hatch here on the starboard side, a wine rack squirreled away there. There's lots of storage on this boat. You'll see as we go through. The worktops are black pearl granite. There's a microwave here and a bread bin, and the underneath that is another, another very good sized cupboard, actually. Another cupboard on the port side. And under the work surface here is the fridge. It's a LEC 12 volt with an ice box. That was brand new in 2018. Stainless steel sink and bank of four drawers under that. And here we go, one of my favourite type cupboards. There's the carousel type thingy. Super boat this, I love it. The cooker is a Thetford four burner gas hob oven and grill. All very, very clean. Under the oven is a pan drawer. And there's a view down from the galley. Absolutely lovely. Feels like home already. The bathroom's a walk through one. Lovely tiled quadrant shower. Very good size that, there's even a shelf along the side there you can see. The loo itself is a Thetford cassette, there's two spare cassettes I think on board. The basin's ceramic, countertop, a couple of good cupboards underneath that. There's a mirror, all frosted up, it's really cold today, everything's a bit damp. The heating on board, you saw the radiators there, were Basto Thermotop C, diesel fired central heating system. The bed itself you saw there. Four feet two inches wide, six feet four inches long. Three really good sized drawers underneath. Reading lights over and a shelf and a couple of cupboards as well. I'm not that familiar with Stillwater boats, but um, I have to say the fit out superb. Really good sized cupboard under here. The inverter was up there, you'll see that again in a minute from the side cupboard. Two and a half kilowatt sterling inverter charger. Massive wardrobe here on the starboard side. Acres of rim, there's a dressing mirror there on the right hand door. 
with a hanging cupboard in here. The hot water tank's underneath these rails there, so it's a bit of an airing cupboard or drying cupboard as well. Storage under the steps, and there's the inverter I referred to, along with the very neatly arranged electrics on this side. There's the stereo. It's a Sirocco CD player. Out onto the well deck. Uh, sorry, stern deck, not the well deck. The engine's in here, squeaky clean. It's a canal line 42 horsepower. There's only 555 hours on this engine. Really clean and tidy in there. The battery's at the top of the screen there. There's five of those, four leisures, 110 amp hours, all brand new in 2020 this year. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. Absolutely fabulous boat. Really beautiful. Let's have another walk back through. 230 volts. I've mentioned the inverter. There's a landline on board. There's a galvanic isolator as well. Hot water on board. Looking at the shower, there's three sources of that. The engine heats the hot water. The central heating system, the Wabasto, does it. Well, there's also an immersion heater when you're looked, um, hooked up to the landline. So she's really got everything that you need to just get on and go. Absolutely fabulous boat and shame to have to get off her. So there we go, that's Pippa's Song. Absolutely lovely boat. For a gallery of further photographs, fully downloadable color brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk. And a very happy Christmas to everybody.